Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring. We're using the Better Press system. If you missed um, my kind of walkthrough with the Better Press system, I'll link that video at the end. But the press plate that we're going to be using is called Pressed Bouquet. It's a beautiful floral bouquet. And we're going to jump in and get started. I have my top plate here. I'm going to flip it around. And I'm going to be using my white cotton panel here. Where you're going to tape this down. We'll put that in two. I'm going to line this up. Tack it down just in a couple of corners. And then I'll take my plate here. Remove the adhesive and then I'll place it where I want it to go on my card base. Basically this is your card base here, although it is reversed. And I'm just kind of evenly spacing it. I think that's a good spot. And then I'll take my ink. Better press is very easy. This is the black ink. So if you got the better press system, this ink came with a kit. And then I'm going to just add it over. Spellbinders recommends you kind of do a shimmy with it. And with the larger plates, you can do that. I found with the smaller plates, the shimmy kind of doesn't work because it moves the plates. <laughs> so the larger plates, you can kind of press and shimmy your ink into all these areas. The detail on here is so pretty. I mentioned we're going to be doing watercoloring and since there is a lot of detail on here, the watercoloring is not going to take too much time at all. I think that looks great. I'll take my top plate, we'll magnetic down. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. And I'll take my plate and I'll just run it through and it really does glide through. This is less effort than using regular dies, which is so nice. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. And look, I just that blows me away how stunning this is. It dries instantly, which is really nice. And um, so pretty. I think the black and white is gorgeous on its own. A note card set for Christmas would be amazing. Would pay for itself, really. Okay, maybe I'll do that for Christmas. I'll make a note card set. I think it'd be very easy to do. I'm going to save my tape and I'm going to better press one more time. So I have another piece of my white cotton panels. And I'm going to... Just do the same plate. We'll tape it down. And then I'll ink this up one more time. And we have gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous panels. I can remove this tape here. We're going to put this off to the side and I'm going to do a little bit of watercoloring. I'm going to try to do, I'll do one and then I'll do the second one off camera. But I, I'm going to be using my Alta New markers. These are Alta New watercolor markers. And let's see. Yellow. This is like a pale green. That's like a teal and a pink. I think I think we're just going to use these four markers. I'm, I'll keep these out just in case. This is a cute little case, um, and I'll link it down below if you guys want it. It's I got this on Amazon, and what it does is you unzip it. You can pull the side. There's you can pull the sides down, and it creates a little cute little 
holder for uh, pence color pencils, watercolors, lots of those zig markers. So we're gonna color. I'll color one first, and then I'll do. I'm gonna try and do the same coloring on this one as well. I think I want the the teal. I am gonna bring in a water brush marker because. Um, the thing about the Altenew watercolor brush markers is they're um, very strong, very uh, bright and vibrant colors. I'm going to color in this largest flower. You know what's nice is all the darker detail tells you the darker color where you want. So when you get a, um, when you have detail like this it basically tells you where to put your watercolor so on all the darker lines that's where i'm putting my watercolor and then i'll spread the rest out Stock. Um, it really took the watercolor really well. You can see there's just a little bit of warping, but um, it really, it, it, it was okay to blend too. I suggest doing little sections at a time, but it blended really well. Okay, I'm going to actually, I see this really quickly. Let me fix this one. Okay. So I'm going to heat set this just to make sure that everything is nice and dry. My panels are dry now. We're going to bring in a die set from Spellbinders. This is the Essential Stylish Ovals. And I have two. Um, that would create kind of an oval frame and I'm going to take my largest and I'll die cut out Maybe I need to take a slightly larger one. I want to get the full image because it is so pretty. Let's take a slightly larger one 
and I'll tack this down. And I'm going to run both of these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Now I ran everything through my die cut machine and then while I was at it, I took the Spellbinders embossing folder of the month, um, Splish Splash embossing folder. Um, I mentioned when I created a card with this that this looked really florally to me and I think this is going to make the perfect background. So I embossed an A2 panel. This is what it looks like. I think it's going to be a great background. Not very much of it's going to show, but I think enough of it will show um, um, just to give a little bit of texture on my card. So we have our two panels. And I'm going to adhere my embossed A2 panel on my card base, just using my tape runner. Next, I'll take our watercolored panel, and we are going to adhere this. And you know, I do want to mention that if you do watercolor over this, it does take the impression away slightly. It's not as prominent as it usually would be um, without the watercolor. The texture is just very vague on here. Next I'll take this, and what I'm going to do is put some foam squares behind here, and I'm going to pop this up in the existing place for a little bit of dimension. I think that really is really pretty. And now we need a sentiment. So I'm you this doesn't come with a sentiment, but I'm gonna be using one of my sentiments from the Let's Chat Soon um, press plate. Okay, let's bring back our platform. And rather than using a new piece of cardstock, I'm gonna use the, the bottom of here. That way we don't, this is kind of pricey cardstock. So I'm gonna use some leftover pieces. We will tape this down. I'm cleaning off my press plate with um, just my regular stamp cleaner. It's a gentle stamp cleaner and, and I know it's not going to affect the coating on this, but I think if you were to use like an archival ink cleaner, it would work. Um, and it'll probably take the ink off of your, um, your chase too. I thought maybe my magnetic tool would work to pick this up, but it doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and place this down here. And I'll just use my black ink to ink this up. So I inked this up. And it did shift a little bit on me. So when you add your ink, make sure that you just press up and down. And you don't want to shimmy your sentiments. Anything small like strips, I think you don't want to shimmy. But I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to lower it. I'm going to lower this just a little bit. I put this on upside down actually. If you're going to reuse your um, paper, make sure that you put it down right side up on the back of the plate. Okay, so let's run this through our die cut machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I ran it through, and it just inks so pretty. So, so pretty. So we'll put this back. And I'm going to use my paper trimmer, and I'll trim this into a strip. And then I have some Spellbinders Teal Color Essential Gems. I'm going to go ahead and 
add some sparkle here. And then that will finish off my card today. Today we used the press bouquet, press plate, and also the Spellbinders Better Press letterpress system. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you soon.